Good morning everyone. We are finally having some gorgeous, gorgeous weather here in Manchester and I feel like it's about time because it is now August which means it is only a month away from September and we all know what September means to me and to lots of us. Um, so I'm really glad we're getting to sort of enjoy a bit of the sunshine before it's basically autumn. I'm starting my day the way I start my day every single morning having my AG1. You will already know by now that I work with AG1 on like a long term sort of partnership basis and you'll also know that I took AG1 long before I ever worked with them. It's something that my family and I have taken for lots of years. We all absolutely love it. In fact, all of my friends love it now too. Funnily enough, my two best friends are here this weekend um, and we all went out on Saturday evening, maybe had a tiny little bit too much fun. Um, and the first question Sunday morning from everybody was, where's the AG1? Because AG1, especially as I'm sort of like getting older and I'm not 21 anymore, AG1 really just makes me feel like me, but a hundred times better. I have so much more energy. I'm so much more focused. I am so much more productive. And the other thing I've really, really noticed, my immune system is indestructible. I don't remember the last time, I truly don't remember the last time I got like a virus or a common cold or anything like that touch wood. Honestly, it's just incredible. And the other thing I really, really notice is how clear my skin is. My skin is so much healthier. I can't really remember the last time I had sort of like a proper breakout on my skin. And again, I know that AG1 does support your skin, your hair, your nails. I know that it has vitamin A, but yeah, I think it's really doing the trick. I mean, they're the three biggest differences that I noticed. So let me actually talk to you about the science of AG1. So AG1 is a comprehensive, convenient daily nutrition supplement. It has over 70 different ingredients in one single scoop. It has your vitamins, it has your minerals, it has whole food sourced nutrients. And one thing that's increasingly important to me, because as I was saying, I'm not 21, unfortunately anymore, is that it helps to promote healthy aging by supporting your cellular metabolism. As we always talk about the quality of the ingredients in anything that I consume or even put on my body is so, so important to me. And AG1 go through a really, really strict sort of testing process to ensure that every single scoop of AG1 is exactly as it reads on the label. They test for things like heavy metals and contaminants just to ensure you are getting a really, really high quality product. So as you saw this morning, it's as easy as popping one scoop of AG1 either into a glass and I use a little electric whisk or when I'm short on time, I will just use the shaker because you can pop it in here, give it a shake and then it's ready to go. I do it every morning before I eat or drink anything else um, and it really tastes good as well. That's one thing that I feel like whenever I introduce a new friend to it, they're always surprised how nice it tastes. So if you go to drinkag1.com forward slash Hannah Atkins, AG1 are very kindly giving us a free one year supply of vitamin D2 plus K3 and also five of their travel packs, which are so handy. I take them everywhere. Let's get into making some breakfast. Okay, so breakfast did not quite go to plan um, because I opened my fridge to find out that there was not in fact a single piece of food in there, which happens to me way more often than it should. I feel like since Kenny left, Kenny used to, he just looks after me so well and he used to do all of the food shopping. Obviously he used to do all of the cooking. So he would always make sure there's food in the fridge, there was food in my tummy and all of that was covered. So since he left, sometimes I just open my fridge and think, oh, you actually need to feed yourself, which is what's happened this morning. So I've popped out, I've grabbed myself 
have a matcha and now we're gonna head to Waitrose and just do a bit of a food shop for the day because I think today's just going to be a bit of a home day. I want to do lots of cooking, show you some new recipes. I just have so many things to show you at home. Um, I've been doing a fair bit of shopping so I thought I'd do a bit of a haul for you later and just show you, I don't know, all the newness in my house, all my new clothes and things like that. And then I've got a dentist appointment later. But I think between all of that, I just really wanna do some cooking. I wanna do some baking. Now that we have to go out anyway, I'm going to get the ingredients and make banana and blueberry breakfast muffins maybe with oats in or something like that so that's roughly the plan um look what i just found in my car they are absolutely filthy because they were buried deep at the bottom of this compartment in here but i don't know what sort of identity crisis i was going through when i bought these these are very cool girl i feel like they also might be very 2018 i don't know are these acceptable to wear they're actually really handy because you know when it's not bright bright sunshine but it's still a bit too bright for my blue eyes but like these really do the job but i don't know i can't take myself seriously in them i i don't know who i look like but it's someone from a movie they also have about a centimeter thick of just dust on them from sitting in that compartment for so long anyway i'm getting hungry for breakfast so i'm going to get myself on the road another jump scare for me is whenever i see that tattoo on my arm it is my one and only tattoo i was clearly going through something I don't know. I wish I didn't have it, but it's only tiny, so it's not a big deal. Um, right, let's get on the road. Okay, food shop done. I don't think I've got anything that exciting to really share with you. It's mostly fresh fruits and veggies because like I said, I'm really in the mood for cooking today. So it's just things to make recipes with. I'm gonna make a lot of like healthy, summery sort of salads. Like I'm gonna make a um, vegan Caesar salad for lunch. It's unbelievable, it is so good. For dinner, I'm going to make kind of like a spicy, high protein, pasta salad sort of thing it doesn't have to be spicy obviously you can take the spice out but for now i've got my bananas and i'm ready to head home and make these um i think they're lemon blueberry and banana breakfast muffins delicious and then also you can make them in a batch and pop them in the fridge if you're going to get through them quick enough or you can pop them in the freezer is something leaking on me no okay that was just something cold in there oh god and i nearly poured that on myself in the meantime i shouldn't be allowed to wear an all white outfit but yeah what's great about them is that you can pop them in the freezer and then whenever you're fancying like a sweet treat for breakfast you know some days you're just in a coffee and pastry kind of mood well this is your answer to that because you can have a slightly healthier um, kind of version of that with your morning coffee and that you've got at home so you don't have to go to Gales or wherever it is that you go. Okay, oven's preheating. I've got all of my ingredients in my mixing bowl. I have lined my little muffin um, baking tray and we're good to go. So as always, I'm kind of winging this, but if they turn out good, I will put the recipe in the description. I always do that. Sometimes I'm a few hours late, so if it's not there now, as I always say, just shout at me and I will remember to put it in. Let's get going.
my bedroom floor, I've got a huge cup of tea that I almost just spilled on the carpet showing it to you. Um, and I'm surrounded by bags and boxes because I've been doing some shopping. I actually went through a period of really not shopping, but I actually blame this entirely on my best friend, Ella. She came to stay this weekend and everything she wore, everything she used, everything she talked about, I just had to immediately buy, immediately buy. We have that kind of friendship. There's absolutely no gatekeeping in our friendship. If we like it, we buy it, we twin, we wear it at the same time and we absolutely love it. We are those type of friends. But yeah, there's a bit of everything here. We have got lots of beauty bits because I did a big online order of all of my favourite bits. We have got lots of clothes. I thought I'd start with what I've been wearing all morning because this is all new and it is all inspired by Ella herself. Um, from the earrings down, honestly. So these little earrings, I'm gonna link all of this in my description. So I'll put literally detailed links to all of it. I normally just do one big LTK post, but because we're gonna talk about so much, I'll break down the links and all of that. Um, but yeah, starting with the earrings, Ella wore these at the weekend and I just thought they were so gorgeous. And guess where they're from? Amazon. I could not believe that when Ella said it. I thought they would be like Majuri or something. They are from Amazon and I love them. And this vest top that I've been wearing all morning is from Mint Velvet. It's really gorgeous quality and it's got this really lovely sort of slightly square neckline, which I just think slightly elevates it, just adds a little bit of something to an otherwise plain vest top. This is in a size extra small. They do come up quite big, I will tell you that. Um, and then these trousers that I've been wearing all morning are Zara Home, actually. I think they're probably pyjamas, if we're all being completely honest, um, but I wear them as loungewear, so does Ella, because they're quite thick, you can't see anything through them. So just for like running to the supermarket or the cinema or something. I thought we'd now go on and talk about all of my makeup, skincare, well, it's mostly skincare, because honestly, makeup wise, I've just been wearing a full face of merit every day, like I was saying in last week's video never ever been obsessed with makeup like I have with this so I'll put another link um just to all of this stuff from last week as well there's one makeup bit to talk to you about because I love this my friend Emily was wearing this at the weekend and she let me try some on never going back it is the most gorgeous blush it is the hourglass unreal liquid blush and i have got this in shade scene but what we were saying about this blusher and i think actually all of the hourglass blushes of this type is they sort of have this almost purpley undertone which i think really gives like a natural um sort of sun kissed slightly sunburnt look which i think is really really pretty because it does look so natural it's very 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 pigmented so this is definitely for me more of an evening full face of makeup sort of blush whereas in the day i use the merit stockholm one that i spoke about last week this is an incredible incredible product love that i think that's the only makeup bit the rest of everything i've got is kind of skincare hair care so skincare routine wise i did a big restock on all the bits that i use every single day i told you about these bits before but I just thought since I've got new ones I would show you what I cleanse my face with every single day is these two products so first of all I go in with the pie rosehip cleansing oil Alex Collins told me about this ages ago and I have used it every single day since it is so good at really breaking down slightly heavier makeup eye makeup all of that sort of thing and then I think Alex actually told me this one too but this is the fresh soy face cleanser and I just got it in this big bottle because I use so much of this and together they just make my skin feel really really clean but still hydrated and I just love them so I use them every day and then once my face is clean I go in with a couple of different products but ultimately it always ends up with one of these two moisturizers so for the day I've been absolutely loving this Laneige water bank there's quite a few of these and I got a bit confused when I first bought it so I'll make sure I've linked this exact one it is really rich and really really hydrating like nothing quite gives me the same level of hydration as this does and I'm almost empty on my current one and then my second favorite product that I will say is painfully painfully expensive this hurts every time I have to buy it but I also can't live without it is the Sicily Paris self-tanning hydrating um, facial skincare it's called it's basically just an everyday moisturizer but it does have some element of gradual tanning which I love this just makes me wake up feeling tanned glowy hydrated and although the price point is painful I can't help myself. I just keep rebuying it. And then the last thing I got was just a little travel size of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo 
best dry shampoo in the entire world, will never use anything else. I have a huge one that I keep at home, but this is just for when I'm on the go, going down to the Cotswolds or something. Thought I'd stand up to show you the clothes. Not all of this is me and Em, some of it is, but I just kind of put everything into one bag just to make life easier. So the first thing to show you is that I did get the matching t-shirt for these trousers. Again, it's from Zara. I think this was actually in the sale, so I think this was 9 99 I just think this is a really nice kind of like home loungewear sort of set. And like I said, you can potentially elevate it so it's borderline um, outside appropriate. So then these are my absolute obsession at the moment. I'm not gonna put them on now because I'm going to wear them anyway because I've got a dentist appointment this afternoon. These are Nina Bing jeans best fitting jeans. They answer every single prayer I've ever had for a pair of jeans. They are so perfect. They're kind of slightly loose fitting, but not too baggy. They're not really low rise, but they're not high rise. They're somewhere in the middle. And do you want to know something really niche that I love about them? Is the crotch is really short. Because one issue I have with jeans is that when they're low rise, the crotch comes almost down to your knees. And obviously when they're high rise, you've got the crotch going all the way up to your belly button. These are perfect. I cannot speak about these highly enough. I'll show you when they're on later. So then also from me and Em, I went in the other day, they had a sale on. I'll pop this on for you, but I looked at this jumper long before it was in the sale. Um, and then it was in the sale the other day and I just thought we have got autumn coming up. Now I did have to buy this in a size large. So if we're all being completely honest, it is in fact too big. But what I'm trying to pull it off as is oversized, comfy, cozy just think autumn comfy cozy pair of jeans i tried it on with jeans that were slightly more fitted and that did help the whole oversized appearance so it's just the nicest fitting jumper in the world it's kind of slightly cropped at the front a little bit longer at the back obviously because it's not my size it is just very big on me um but if you are anywhere near a me and m or a selfridges with a me and m inside go and look for this jumper i promise you it's the most perfect jumper in the world. I need to take this off. It is in fact 100 degrees in this room. But yeah, I got that with autumn in mind. Um, now this, I just have no words for how in love I am with this shirt. This is also me and M. And unfortunately this was also in the sale. So they did have some sizes left online last time I looked. So I will have a look. Again, I'm going to wear this to the dentist later, I think, because it's nice and cool. So I'll put it on then and show you. It's the prettiest shirt I've just ever seen in my entire life. Look at the details on the sleeves. It is so gorgeous. All the little frills, the neckline I love. It's just gorgeous. If I can't find this, I'll try and link something similar. I also got this set from Mint Velvet. I had Ibiza in mind when I bought this. It's probably not very IB3, but I don't think I'm very IB3, so I'm just gonna be wearing what I feel comfortable in. It's the most gorgeous little set. It's got this like little frill detail, and then it just has this matching shirt. This does come up quite oversized. What size is this? This is a size small. It's definitely more of an oversized sort of fit, so just bear that in mind. But I just think what a lovely, easy throw on put together outfit. I love a cohort because you just look put together. When in actual fact, you put almost no thought into it whatsoever. This morning, a package from, I don't know, Largeance, Legeance, I'm not sure. Um, this brand arrived this morning. And this is one of my favorite brands. My blue jeans that I always wear, the sort of slightly darker denim, slightly lower cut that I honestly wear in almost every single video, they are from this brand. Um, and they very kindly sent me a bikini ahead of going to Ibiza. It's in like a really gorgeous chocolate brown and has these gold details, which I always think elevates a bikini. And just the matching bikini bottoms. That's everything that I've been buying. I do have a feeling that slightly more shopping may happen ahead of Ibiza, Kenny. Just close your ears, you didn't hear this. But if I do buy anything else, I'll keep you posted because I know lots of us are still going on our summer holidays and my summer wardrobe is where my wardrobe, if anywhere, is slightly lacking. I don't really have that many summer clothes. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Okay, before I get changed to go to the dentist, I am just gonna whip myself up a really, really quick sort of Caesar-esque salad, but obviously plant-based. Really all that's in it, the main components, are some kale that I just washed for myself, avocado and chickpeas, and then there's bits and pieces like um, seeds and things like that that go in, and obviously you can throw in anything you want, you can put tomatoes in, you can put anything you like in there, but time's of the essence because I've got this appointment to get to, so I'm just going to make mine really, really simple, and then we also need to make the Caesar dressing, which is pretty much cashews, nutritional yeast, a little bit of garlic, olive oil, salt. Just to say, 
I roast my kale with my chickpeas just because I like it that way. But obviously, um, you don't have to do that. You can have your kale raw, which is probably, you know, well, definitely keeps more of the nutrients in, but it's just a preference thing. I really love crispy roasted kale. <laughs> forgetting I was supposed to make enough to have with dinner. This looks so, so yum. Let me give it a taste test. Mm, it is so good. When we were in LA, I ate a vegan Caesar salad from Creation. Honestly, every single day that I could get my hands on it, it was so good. So when I got home, I was determined to try and recreate it. And it's, it's not quite as good as theirs because I don't know what they put into that. Um, it's all organic though, so it has to be something that I could put into this, but it's pretty close, it's pretty good. It's a big summer storm. pieces I was talking about earlier so obviously this is the shirt you can do it up because it has this really pretty sort of neckline but it's really quite warm today so I just thought a bit more breathable I'll leave it um undone and then these are the jeans but I have remembered something quite devastating about these jeans and that is that they were in the sale so I'm hoping just as much as you that they're not being discontinued because I would quite like to buy them in every single colour I want to be this girl but I am constantly this girl and it drives me wild when I edit my videos I think um tuck your hair from behind your ears but anyway I it's going back it's happening again I, it's like an impulse it's so annoying hair around your face but I wanted to really quickly chat to you about the dentist because I know this is something we spoke about quite a bit a while ago I was kind of on this whole teeth sort of journey and at the very beginning I wanted to just go in strong and get basically composite veneers on all of my teeth. Composite veneers are not the same as veneers. They don't actually damage your natural teeth at all. They kind of are a layer over the top. So I think when everybody hears the word veneers, it sounds very scary and I understand that, but I would never have been harming my own teeth. I would never do that. However, since then I went for another consultation with a different dentist and I also took you along to that one. And we kind of chatted about much more sort of natural alternatives for the time being to kind of get me a lot closer to where I'd like to be before considering options like composite bonding and composite veneers and things like that. Because it turns out I actually have some sort of, um, what's the word? Not cosmetic, more actual dental kind of issues with my teeth. I've started to notice that gaps have started to open up in some areas and then consequently a lot of crowding in other areas. And I've got an underbite, overbite, some sort of situation going on with my bite. So my dentist and I came up with a bit of a plan, which basically involves doing Invisalign as our sort of first step, because that will help me resolve any issues with um, movement in my teeth and my bite and things like that. I might also consequently bring me closer to my cosmetic goals and then obviously at the end of that course of Invisalign we can look at things like whitening and if I still want bonding. I'm really excited about it, it's been long overdue but today is kind of just step one so yeah let's head to the dentist. So a couple of things that we can improve mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. one of those things was the crossbite on that side which yeah. means that on one side your teeth are tucked in yes okay and what we're going to be doing for you is we're going to be straightening that out mm -hmm. so that you've got a symmetrical side on both sides 
Yeah, okay. right. So I know last time we talked about obviously getting rid of this metal retainer that's yeah. not really doing its job anymore. Exactly, exactly. And that's what we'll be doing. So today is to take all your x-rays, take your photos and take your moulds. Mm -hmm. And then if everything looks okay, we'll get started with your Invisalign in about a month's time. Yeah. Today's just a record. So yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just going to check the size of the tray. Yeah, so okay. okay, we are home from the dentist, which was absolutely fine by the way. I did not need to be so worried about those moulds. I came home to a delivery from Deliciously Ella, which is always very exciting. So I just thought I'd unbox this with you. And they've actually sent through some of the high protein rigatoni, which is probably half, yeah, half wheat flour, half lentil flour. I think I'm gonna use this this evening and just make the ultimate girl dinner because I know what I said. I know what I said about making extra veggies with dinner but I'm tired and it's a girl dinner kind of evening so I'm going to make some sort of like spicy tomato pasta salad and just eat a big bowl of that while I watch um what's it called Queen Charlotte. I finished Bridgerton, loved it and now I'm on to Queen Charlotte so that's the plan for this evening but we also have in here we have basil pesto and sun-dried tomato pesto. We have got the sweet potato crunchy cracker thins in rosemary, paprika and mixed seeds. And then also the lightly salted cracked black pepper, olive oil and mixed seeds ones. Lovely with hummus, really, really yum. And then some of these apple and raisin oat bars, which my mum and I have enjoyed love for, so I'll probably take them home to give to her this weekend because yes i am going back to the hospitals again this weekend but i'll take you with me of course so next week's video will probably be back in the cotswolds and then maybe the weekend after that will be in ibiza um if that's something you'd like to see but let me know i'm always a little bit unsure with going on holiday and whether that's interesting to you please excuse the fact that you can see the bin through that window it's not very aesthetic of me but it's just real life and do you know what that really reminds me of? i was thinking about this earlier um when i was talking about kenny and stocking the fridge and things like that. If any of you saw, Kenny and I did like a sit down Q and A, actually sat right here around Christmas time before he left. I think maybe even before we knew he was leaving. No, we must have known, I don't know. We did this big Q and A, can you hear the rain? Um, and one of the questions in there somehow led on to what would be Kenny's dream woman? Which really he should have just said me. But what he actually said was someone who takes the bins out and mows the lawn. Honestly, you need to see him say it himself in that video. But I can proudly say that I am now my fiance's dream woman because there's only me here. So I'm doing all the bins. I'm mowing the lawn. By the way, I hate mowing the lawn. I've got this far into my life without ever having had to mow a lawn. I feel like it's a blue job. I feel like the bins are a blue job. But I'm an independent girl now. So yeah. element right now i've got my big bowl of pasta i just chucked in a big heavy spoonful of that caesar dressing that we made earlier because it's just kind of made it a bit creamy and just so yum and then some watercress on the top to pretend that we're eating veg it has spinach in too so we're not doing too badly um and i'm sat albeit on my living room floor because i eat on this tray thing and i am by the way my new cushions oh the sofa's looking very sad but they look so pretty on there when it's all done. 
Um, but what I was going to show you is my current Netflix selects. So, okay, we're going to need to not talk over Miss Olivia Coleman. Love Olivia Coleman, by the way. Absolutely unbelievable actress. I love her. So, continue watching for me. We have Queen Charlotte. Adored Bridgerton. Absolutely loved it. So, I've moved on. I'm on only on episode two, so I probably will put that on now. But my friends told me I have to watch this, which I started, but then I fell asleep. But apparently this is hilarious and just like really feel good and just a good movie. We also all started watching this when they were here. Very odd movie. Not sure about that. If anybody's actually watched that to the end, let me know. And then I don't even know if these other things on here are me, to be honest. Or if they're Kenny. Oh, the Darrells, that's definitely me. Um, oh, and I watched Scoop. Actually, that was really good. Would definitely recommend that. But anyway, I think we're going to go for a good old bit of Queen Charlotte. And I am going to sit here in my absolute element and enjoy this for a little bit. I mean, my absolute element would also be makeup off, but I've not quite got to that point of the day yet. when taking your makeup off is just quite frankly a step too far tonight is one of those nights i mean obviously i am going to take it off there's just no getting out of that job do you ever just think about what it's like to be a man and to just get to this point in the day and just actually have nothing else to do you know we have to take our makeup off do our whole skincare it's just a whole thing so i think i'm going to summon up the energy for a bit and read a chapter of my book. I am still on Wilding. No, I'm not very far into it at all, so I don't have too much to say yet. Obviously it is non-fiction, so that's just, can you even see me? I just realized I'm right at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, it's obviously non-fiction, so it's a bit of a different vibe. It's not kind of ripping in the same way that fiction can be, or at least not so far. Um, but it is very interesting. I think it will just be very informative. I know a couple of you have also bought this book. So if you are further on than me, then do let me know what you think so far. It's actually pretty late. I think I'm trying to read it on my laptop over there. But I think it's about 9, 9.30ish. I'm going to go get my makeup off, put my Dyson fan on. That Dyson fan is on max right next to my head. I pull the fan right up next to the bed, put it on max, and I lie facing it all night. It's so hot in here. Because here's a story for you. The other evening, I obviously had all my windows open in my house, lovely, fresh air. I've been doing that every single hot summer's day. And just to backtrack, I told my parents, I was at my parents' house recently, and obviously in the countryside, there are so many spiders. I hate spiders. This is one thing I'm nervous about when I do move um, home to the Cotswolds, especially if we get the house that we've currently got the offering on, because it's a very old house and it's just a lot of stone and I'm just nervous about the spiders quite honestly anyway i was at my parents house we saw a huge spider i was confidently telling my parents that i had never ever seen a big spider in this house which was true until recently because i think i've had all of the windows open in the whole house the other evening i was walking up to bed innocently half asleep just been watching tv what do i say on the stairs an enormous you know that huge huge thick horrible horrible house spiders it was one of them holding me captive captive on the stairs so for the first time in my entire life i had to actually catch a spider in a cup and put it outside i will admit to you that i did throw the entire cup out of my upstairs bathroom window and i'm not even ashamed about that i did survive it somehow but yeah i just i couldn't i just couldn't it was just awful anyway that was a very long way of telling you that that is why I do not open my windows, so the Dyson fan has to do what the Dyson fan has to do. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I don't even know if you can see me. I feel like so tiny in the corner of the screen. You're so high up, I don't know why the tripod's that high. So I'm going to head off to bed and obviously leave today's video here. I know it was a very home, home video today, just a lot of cooking. Next week back in the Cotswolds, I think. I really can't wait till my whole life is just sort of all in one place. Again, I just think it'll be so lovely when I can be in the Cotswolds, be with my friends, be with my family, do all the bits that we love doing down in the Cotswolds, but also 
combine that with my love for like baking and gardening and doing all the home bits there as well it's just oh I'm just beyond honestly beyond beyond excited about the next few months yeah just I try not to say too much because I really I'm not not telling you I'm also trying not to tell myself to get over excited because I'm already thinking like Christmas Christmotmas maybe this year on the Cotswolds maybe if I'm lucky if I'm very 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 lucky just so many other things I want to tell you just so many really gorgeous things that are hopefully coming over the next few months and just things I'm just beyond just dreams coming true let's just say that just dreams coming true anyway talking of dreams coming true I really hope that you have the best week ever and I can't wait to catch up with you next weekend thank you honestly from the bottom of my heart for being here I will never not be grateful for it so yeah bye guys